scruffy today, but uh, here just to uh, give a nice intro to this wonderful video. This is uh, a video on ayahuasca, the DMT activator, and uh, how it works. And it is probably the best video I have seen, so I now present it to you as quality information here on Eco Health Lab. So the beauty of ayahuasca is the healing of people, getting us back to that pure divine state of being, spiritual awakening, illumination, and contentment and peace to just create and be. What ayahuasca is, I always like to say that it's it's a true holistic medicine. Uh, it's the only medicine that I know works on the psychological level, the physical level, and the spiritual level all at the mm -hmm. same time. It's an entheogen. It shows you that which is. <laughs> if it was a hallucinogen, we'd all be sitting here having different visions. But uh, Zerk, myself, and Gume will regularly say, you see that, and you see that. We're, we're seeing the same... Thing. We're seeing a different level of reality that is opening us to that. A lot of people associate ayahuasca with these amazing visions and these amazing experiences. It's important to note, ayahuasca cares first about cleaning, healing, and then teaching. There's a, a female spirit's mother, grandmother, um, teaching with the feminine wisdom, which is far more intuitive not linear, necessarily. <laughs> this is a concern that people who are new to ayahuasca have. It's so like, I have these visions and I don't understand what they mean. And it's like, well, that's fine. Because she's teaching at a level that is not the linear logical, but it's teaching that's there and it's teaching that will stick long term. I would argue that those visions that we don't understand are actually more powerful and important than the ones that we do because the linear logical mind is actually quite limited. Oftentimes, uh, during those first few ceremonies, there may not be so many visions or the visions aren't as pleasant because they're so intense and moving so quickly. She's cleaning out so that those energy channels are now open and then she can start teaching and start giving realizations and so forth. And that's one of the major beauties of this medicine in the sense that when we have heavy energies, when we, are, when we possess harmful spirits that are parasitic, it goes in and it removes all these heavy energies, these spirits. And then bit by bit, we encounter less obstacles in our life until we're fully clean. El ayahuasca es un tronco del, de la medicina que trabaja, que funciona como el motor y las demás cortezas recolectadas son para este, ayudar a dar fuerza y más luz a la ayahuasca. Aquí esas plantas medicinales que trabaja el ayahuasca, la de chacruna, sanango y otros tipos de cortezas de plantas medicinales como remocaspi, bairacaspi. Lopuna o punga, ayahuma y el tabaco. El tabaco también que concierne es un, es un parte de que funciona para provocar la limpieza del estómago. The active ingredient in ayahuasca is DMT, and dimethyltryptamine is released by long term meditators from their pineal gland. It is that which enables them to rapidly transition into the lower levels of the alpha brainwave state and into the theta brainwave state. Traditionally, it takes many lifetimes sitting on a meditation mat to develop those abilities. So ayahuasca is in some way a cheat in a consciousness expansion process. Ayahuasca will take us back to previous experiences and allow us to recontextualize them in a way that brings about forgiveness, the release of um, tensions, stresses, um, psychological hang-ups. However, it is not a magic bullet. Um, uh, we see many people coming down here thinking that Ayahuasca is going to solve all their problems. <laughs> um, yes, she, she can certainly help. Um, as Gume is very fond of saying, there are three um, parts to the ayahuasca work. There is the ayahuasca medicine herself. There is the medicine that the shaman has that he's developed from his apprenticeships and from his diets. And then there's the effort of the individual, <laughs> the application of their own free will to go through the process. 
tiene que poner de su parte la persona también para que ayude a uno como maestro, porque uno se está poniendo toda nuestra parte, todo nuestro amor para ayudar a sacar esa energía mala que tiene. Y si la persona está mal y no pone de su parte, es parte de él también que no cree, ¿no? Nadie somos perfectos en la vida. En sí nos sentimos una persona sana, unas personas de verdaderamente seguro, pero cuando estamos con remedio, ahí es cuando que uno se da cuenta. However, because it is rapid, um, it is painful. It can be painful. It can be painful. <laughs> it, it, more often than not, um, the initial part of the process is painful. Growing means moving beyond your comfort zones. Mm -hmm. Moving beyond your comfort zones, guess what? It's inherently uncomfortable. <laughs> Discomfort comes from ayahuasca going through the body, uh, the both physical and energetic body, and cleaning whatever blockages are there. And so that requires throwing up, going to the bathroom quite a bit, kind of a rewiring of uh, one's energetic system. And for someone who's drinking it for the first few times, that can be disconcerting, to say the least. And a an, uh, reaction that is quite common, they resist. Resistance, we can say in life, as well as in ayahuasca, um, causes suffering. And the first two or three, maybe even four or five uh, ceremonies, the, the person who's drinking has to learn uh, to work with medicine. I, I, I use the analogy of dancing. Uh, when one learns how to dance, uh, things are awkward, yeah, um, toes are stepped on, and you step on toes. Pretty much every experience, every emotion that you can experience, the full gamut I've had going through my own healing process, which was very challenging and difficult at times, frightening, and um, here I am sitting and smiling on this beautiful day in the jungle um, with some good friends, so you can do it, and it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, one will end up in states of ecstatic bliss, um, beyond the mind, um, experiencing oneself in a far greater aspect than that to which we are accustomed. It means letting go of all the limiting uh, self-beliefs. And the medicine can help accelerate that, remove these energies, remove the scars and the traumas from these events that are making you feel so guilty, so shameful. And just trust that in the process that no matter what you experience, it's okay. No matter what you've done in your life, it's okay, it's forgiven, and that when you come out of it, you will be changed, you will be transformed, and you'll come to a full acceptance of who you really are, and when you find yourself at that juncture, then you're free.